What's going on everybody? It's your boy GCO coming at y'all with another video today. So I know it's probably been about a month since I did an update on the visit line. So I feel like now is the time to do it. So I'm also here at the dentist and the reason why I am here is because of this tray that I got it right now. It's like right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not fitting correctly. So, I don't know what that problem is. And it seemed like that's what happened last time too. It was close to the end on each one. So like the last one, I was almost done with that box. This box, I'm almost done with it. I'm on uh, number, what is this? Right there. I'm on number 20 of 23 and then it starts messing up so I was almost done with the box all of them was fitting correctly up until now so I went ahead and scheduled an appointment real quick and so yeah we're about to get up in here Yeah, right now the ones I have in is 20, and I think I'm like supposed to change them out today anyway, so I'm supposed to be on 21. Just those two. different than what you have on them already. Okay. A different shape. It's going to literally look like a tiny little doorknob. Okay. And um, with that button, I'm going to give you some rubber bands to take home too. And we'll modify your trays on the back side. And we will um, grab the rubber band and pull it around to your um, doorknob. And that kind of puts force on the tooth itself and pulls it right down into the tray. So it motivates it to catch up with everything else. Mm -hmm. Now you see what I've created on that lateral tooth? 
that little bendable tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the canine tooth as well. Just a nice little tab. And this works because of this smart track material. Because this is the newest generation of Invisalign, this patented smart track, te uh, smart track technology, that's the reason it works. Because it still, it does not compromise how stiff the trays are. Okay. Old school Invisalign trays are much more difficult to do. So basically, since I have a hand piece and a diamond burr, I'm going to make a little notch right here. And I know I didn't go all the way down to your existing button, which is right there. So I'm not going to have to take much off of that. That piece right there. Okay. So just a little bit. I still don't want to interfere with the attachment that's already uh, built into the tray. Same thing over here. I know I'm not uh, interfering with your button. With this diamond, the uh, the, the uh, plastic melts just a little bit, so go easy on it if you use a Dremel. Okay? If you use a nail file, use your scissors, cut the same little tab like you did in the back, and then use your nail file to file it in between and sm file it smooth. So these It's like this little tab right there, like just leave those on there. Yeah, because that's what I want you to take a rubber band and hook it right on that tab there. It's a little harder when you have two of them, Okay, so that was really unexpected. I would I did not see that one coming. Um, yeah, it was. Now I got this. Rubber band on my teeth now to try to help keep it in. I wonder how many people like who's had to or who's gotten Invisalign like needed to go through all of this in order for Invisalign to really work uh, the way that it's supposed to because I don't think I need to do all this with braces I think well braces would already have rubber bands like on them and kind of would already start pulling stuff together so um just a month update so far I can say that it definitely feels weird when I when I take my trays out and I just and I'm just trayless and like my teeth like touch each other. It definitely feels a lot weirder than before. Like it doesn't touch straight no more. It's like real weird. I don't I don't know if my teeth are even like it's hard to see. For myself, if my teeth are um, really moving, because I mean I see them every day, so it's kind of hard to notice the difference. Um, what else? I know this part right here. It was starting to irritate me at the end because it seemed like when I'm getting close to the end of a month, uh, something up, something up here, in well, this one, but sometimes that one like will just not sit right. It is not sitting right. Down here at the bottom, I haven't really experienced anything worried about the bottom. So the bottom's fine. But yeah, this video is probably gonna be already long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up a bunch of stuff. 
click. Um, that's gonna do it for this month. Now I got rubber bands. Got this nice little rubber band. And I got a hook on my teeth now every time I take these out. I promise you, like, it's gonna hinder me from wanting to eat. I already know it. Because I'm not gonna want to have to go through all that just to put the dangle trays back in every single time. Or when I do eat, I'm making sure I'm eating everything and I'll be good for hours to where I don't need to eat no more. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's gonna do it. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, um, and I mean, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But, uh, everybody just stay blessed. This is your boy, GCO. We out.